What will you create today? You are a creator being, fashioned in the likeness of the being who created you, and you have been given free will. Let's explore for a short while some of what that might mean. Let us begin by stating that you will create something. The one thing that you cannot create is nothing. You will have thoughts. You will make decisions. You will have experiences, and you will form opinions. You may decide to actually turn some of your thoughts into physical things. But even though that is likely how you think of creating, all the rest is creating, as well. Now you can use some of your energy to look upon those things as good or bad. You have, of course, the ability and the freedom to do that, to judge what you have done. And when you do that, you are also quite likely to judge yourself for having done those things and even for judging yourself. And then you have also created what you call a vicious circle. Good name. They are vicious. You also have the freedom to choose to use your best efforts to make every thought and every word, every action, to somehow improve something for someone or everyone. Will you make mistakes? Yes, you probably will. You are always learning. You are always able to look back and see things you might have done other ways. And you can fall again into the judgment thing. Or you can just decide to do it the other way next time. You can use the ability to see better ways to make new choices instead of spending time and energy beating yourself up for what is already done, thereby turning the experience into the cause for something of higher energy. What is good, you can increase. What is beautiful, you can increase. What is of benefit to yourself, to others, to the all, you can increase. This is a decision that you may make and pour your life into. And when you do that, you raise the energy of absolutely everyone and everything. There is nothing that will not benefit from that decision. So what are we saying here, really? We are saying in a rather roundabout way, so that you can get a slightly better grasp on it, that you are a divine being of immense power. The extent of the effect you have on your world, not one atom of which you are separate from, cannot be known by you, yet. At the present time, your conscious awareness is not great enough to hold all of that. But, if you have come to trust what we tell you, then, as you say, you can take that to the bank. And the time is soon to come that will have your awareness and abilities so far beyond what you have known that you will be hard-pressed to believe it. In fact, believing it is what you are learning to do. If you can believe it, you can learn to be that new you that you have been talking about for a while now. And we have now come back to the original question. What will you create today? What will you contribute to the field of consciousness in which you have your being? How will you respond to what is before you? The choice is yours, but you will need to begin where you stand. You may wish to begin somewhere else, but that isn't going to get anywhere. You have the honor, the privilege, and the ability to build from where you are. Go for it.